have to modify my manifold. The internal gate on the whole set is too small for the lower levels of boost that I'll be running. So I would be likely dealing with things like boost creep and sort of of that nature. I have the K Motors turbo manifold, or CX Racing from K Motors turbo manifold on. Got two nuts on it, just holding it on real quick. It'll, it'll support the weight for now. And then I have my aftermarket extendy bit. Just got this off eBay. Just like a two stainless 90s. So this is how I'll be modifying my manifold for the uh, tile wastegate that I have. Now this is an actual tile, it's not a knockoff. It's sort of one of those things that I decided, okay, I'm not gonna cheap out on my wastegate because if my wastegate goes, then I'm gonna have some real issues. But I just have to sort of figure out how this is going to sit. I think it's going to sit something like this, and then I can feed it back into the uh, back into the the dump pipe here. But I just have to work out all the spacing and everything. So I need everything sort of in place to have this make sense. So this way it's lower than the hood. Clear is my dump pipe. Be a little bit closer. I think that's good. Ooh. This one? Yeah. How am I supposed to get my hand in there? Oh. Why doesn't it make a sound? It doesn't ratchet it. No, hold it that side. What? It doesn't ratchet Oh, this one? No, you can't. Oh. That won't fit. Gotcha. It's not gonna make the sound though. No. Uh, well, then this is boring. Yeah. Now you only have you only go once and then you have to restart. There you go. Now pull it off. No. Oh. Ha ha ha. Okay. Good job. I did it. Yeah, you I dropped it. <laughs> so I want it here. Yeah, I'll be able to get it on. So now I can. Take this off. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm giving the turbo a mock-up and making sure everything will fit when it's all done together before I cut into my manifold or anything like that. So. So after a couple hours of cutting, sort of that kind of stuff, got this hole, my manifold, matches up nicely to this little extension bit. Gotta go get this welded, I have it marked out and everything. It's a pretty fair fit. Gonna have to do some welding, obviously, but some extra welding to fill in where I got a little bit excited with the angle grinder right there, that kind of stuff. I'm at my new buddy's shop. His name is Troy. He's a cool dude. Works on planes and shit like that. But he's got this badass welder over here. And he's helping me work on this uh, manifold. 
Now we've been making pretty short work of it actually. I've got all this stuff cut already on my own time and then I brought it in for him. He's been helping me weld it, teaching me how to weld, that sort of thing. I did, uh, did some of my own welding on this, but he did a lot on it as well. So these aren't all mine, but it's a cool new skill to have. So we're gonna get this tacked up and everything and then uh, test fit it with the turbo and all that sort of stuff and move on to the next thing. So we have the uh, beginnings of the dump pipe here. I have the first piece welded to the actual turbo flange. The uh, wastegate tube is welded onto the manifold. I just have to do an extension bit and then I can run the tile just above the dump pipe. So, Troy has done a phenomenal job welding this. I now have my external gate solution all finished. So, uh, gas has come up into the turbo through here, but then the external gate is just right in this hole, just in here. And then they come up through here, bit of an extension. This mates to my tile, and boom, that's it all solid, properly welded. He did a great job. Just gotta clean it up, clean it out a bit. We'll be in business. It's good to have this done. Okay, so, in preparation for the exhaust manifold, I have a whole bunch of these uh, Victor Rains exhaust manifold single port gaskets. I just picked these up from uh, FCP URL. They go on like so. You need six of them. I'll have all the information in the description. So all six little Victor Rains gaskets on there. Time to fit in my modified exhaust manifold. So with my exhaust manifold added wastegate port, I can now drop it in 
for hopefully the last time. So, just it's a little tight in here. Just gotta pull it on. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Fits like a glove. Now I have 12 of these exhaust nuts, also from SCP Euro. They're sort of oblong, so they lock nice and tight on here. All you gotta do... People have been asking me, why do I need an external wastegate? Why can't I use this internal wastegate? Well, answer is quite simple. These, uh, this turbo is designed to work on a diesel that operates about 30 psi, and at 30 psi, even when the with like six, the six liter that it comes with, it's diesel, so it moves a little slower. So you can't really compare diesel and uh, gasoline exhaust velocities, but even with that, the amount of exhaust harnessed by the turbocharger to compress air is far greater. So, when I am running a measly, let's say, 9 to 14 PSI, rather than 30 PSI, I'm using a lot less of the exhaust gas as a percentage than let's say the uh, diesel is. So with the hole, that tiny little internal gate about that size, it will never flow enough exhaust gas to <coughs> vent off all of the excess that I'm not using to spool the turbo. Now if I was running 25 PSI, I think that gate would be absolutely fine. Absolutely, because I would be venting a lot less ex, uh, unused exhaust gas. But I'm not. I'm not running that great, that uh, high of PSI. So I need a larger vent, a larger waste gate, wasted exhaust gas. So that's all uh, waste gate does. It vents the unused exhaust gas out of the turbo system. So it never enters the system of the turbo, and it just vents it to atmosphere. That's all we're doing. And it's a good thing too, because with a larger wastegate like this, I avoid almost all chances of boost creep, especially because I have such a shallow angle on that wastegate, so it's going to work very effectively for its size. So boost creep is just where your wastegate cannot keep up with the the amount of boost that you need, or the the amount of exhaust gas that you need to vent. So it ends up spooling the turbo further than you anticipated, and there's no way really to control it properly. So this just ends up wastegate proper a properly mounted wastegate of a, of a proper diameter is absolutely the right way to go. With the addition of the turbo, there's a lot of heat that gets sort of distributed right up in this area. So my goal right now is just to uh, do some pretty tape and keep the wheel well from getting ridiculously hot. Okay, so it just peels right regular tape. And then So I'm just gonna do one more right there, cut a little bit of an angle. And through the magic of editing, I'm all done. Look how beautiful this is. Well, manifold's all in. And that doesn't look half bad. Got the uh, spark plug wires on, that sort of thing. Huge shout out to Troy for helping me weld all that shit. Anyway, stay tuned guys. Peace. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.